Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video from Mastermind Productions. My name is Wasab and today we're going to cover Dark Zone 9. After this video we'll make uh, a ranking for our, each Dark Zone according to the amount of loot that you can find there. Of course the Extraction Zone is going to be worth some points as well. With that being said let's get into this video though. So Dark Zone 9 is pretty interesting. It has a really good located Extraction Zone which allows for a lot of routes. So the one that I'm going to recommend is one that you don't need any Dark Zone keys for. Because if you do have Dark Zone keys, depending on the amount, there's just so many options and you can stay here forever. Alright, so the one that I'm going to mention is the one that you don't need keys for. <clears throat> for that one, start at the southwest checkpoint. From there on, go into the first block and pick up the sealed cache in the blue area. Note that the blue areas are elevated levels and the red areas are underground. And the gray areas are, well, ground level. So after you picked up the first sealed cache, head north towards the, la the first landmark, where you'll find one boss. And there's also a dark zone chest, but like I mentioned before, we're not going to pick those up. Because uh, I'm, I'm going to assume you don't have keys right now. From there on, keep heading north and pick up the next sealed cache. From there on, head to the landmark and kill another boss. This should put you at 6 items already. From here on, head east, completely east, where you'll find yet again another boss at the landmark. Then head south towards the sealed cache. Then you should be filled up at 9 items. Well, luckily the extraction zone is just around the corner. So, head there. From here on you have two options. The first option is to try and clear the rest of Dark Zone 9, which is one landmark and two Dark Zone chests and one sealed cache, which would put you at seven items straight away. You could extract that before you head to Dark Zone 8, which is the second option. Go into the subway and start clearing the subway landmarks and from there on head to Dark Zone 8 where you'll be able to extract straight away. If you did the first option first, then you will still be able to have uh, 9 items in your inventory when you reach the extraction zone. I think those are the biggest uh, routes you can take. So pretty much circling around the extraction zone and heading underground and following the train. Other than that, if you have keys, this zone is amazing. If you don't have keys, it's still good, but it's not fantastic. Then again, comparing it to other zones, this is probably one of the most balanced zones because it has a well-located extraction zone with multiple options once you're there. Other than that, it's, it's quite average. It has a lot of division tech, however, which is interesting to some people looking for score. Um, there is a, a meaningless landmark and there is this giant elevated area just south of the uh, extraction zone which is completely pointless because there's nothing there which is kind of weird but it's a way through i suppose the next video is going to be a top nine of all the dark zones and i'm going to try and update one image to be a total image of all the dark zones instead of separate dark zones in each image I think that's all I wanted to mention in this video. If you guys want to find out more about how to get exotic caches the easiest or uh, look at some of our builds, feel free to subscribe to our channel because we make those guides all the time. Other than that, we do Let's Plays and we just have fun. Alright, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.